Right guys, uh, so whether you can make anything of this, just a quick head shed, another one. Um, headlining, well, we're going for the cat rails, and obviously we're, we've got a few bits of bend there, where that bend, well, I might be able to pull it down a bit with a, with a hook, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, basically, once the liner is in, from the front, and then the front one goes in to hold the liner up in, then uh, that's done. So the next thing is, is to try and screw the counter rolls in. Now obviously because it's all out of line and the, all the holes have gone out wrong, so it's going to be a bit of an issue. And also some of the rivets I got aren't very good. Uh, really can do with some more rivets. Um, so I don't know, but the thing is, I'm supposed to be doing this reversing camera that's sitting today. But that's basically just the basis of a, of a homemade headliner. Um, I mean, obviously, there's there's a kit you can buy, which is about 200 quid, or there's you can do it your own way, which is next to nothing. So, since the whole thing's a budget, we're doing it next to nothing. Um, interior light goes there, as you can see. Uh, I don't quite know what to do about the wiring on that yet, but we'll see. Uh, Santa Claus has got to be organised, and obviously, we get you get quite a bit of waste left over when you do these jobs. Obviously, I, you know, no, no, I'm not. <coughs> but I will keep a bit of this, this, and I've also got to keep a few bits of this to go beyond the dashboard pieces. So, mm. yeah, whether you can see that, whether you're interested or not, that's just basically Martrim's contact EZIF and some of Martrim's headlining. And that is just literally stuck. And what I'm going to do is when I get up there, I will clean it back and I will stick a little patch over the top folded at the edge to locate the uh, interior light and uh, then I'll hopefully hide down the scene and uh, that's all I can do and anything else well I don't know you tell me you tell me how else would you clean the inside of a 150 millimeter shell casing <laughs> obviously the, the tailgate hasn't been painted as you can see uh, on the inside and obviously the rear hatch hasn't been fitted as you can see but um, I'm waiting for the rubbers so when the rubber comes I'm going to set the rubber in place then I'll put the hatch on and then I might do I don't know uh, maybe I might do I don't, I don't know we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll come up with that at the moment we just want to try and get a little bit more of it done now I don't really want to start trying to do the, the camp rails and then Graham arrives for me to do his try and fit his reversing camera so we might have a, a stop there and uh, say that every little bit we do is, is better than nothing. But yeah, I wish these rivets were out gayer and so do I wish the seals were gayer because I start doing some more different inroads into some of the more difficult pieces maybe. Um, it's just going to be always going to be tricky but uh, yeah. And obviously that door hinge, that real door hinge really does need to replace I just that's just so much sag in that door hinge. <laughs> Gotta do something. So we'll worry we'll worry about that when we get to it. Um but as I said before, we're not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna go crazy and uh, you know, you see things you should have done, I should have sorted out, but obviously I didn't. So it's not my problem. Uh, I could always well, if you live long enough you can always come back and do it again in the next life yeah in the next life I'll do it again but in this life I'm just doing it the best I can with what I've got with my model of the world but yes yeah, so as I said before guys yeah it's the beginning of the headline is coming together um <coughs> yeah <coughs> let's just hope go on hope I don't know, I don't know, there's still a fair few bits to go, isn't there? Still more bits to clean up. So those scraper seals, oh god, and uh, the chromes, I don't know. And then we could, but I want to try to get all the dashboard together before I call Clive in and put the screens in, because also I want to do the front and back screens and the chromes and fit, and then obviously do the side chromes, glue all that on, and then that will be the majority of the work done in the cabin. But I've got to get the headliner through first, because it won't go in from the back. It's sort of got a weird taper to it. I think it will slide it from the front and then go up, and then that 
cant rail at the top holds it in place. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So as I said before, I hope you're enjoying it. If you're not, please feel free to look away. And if you do, just remember we're we're getting there slowly. And considering I haven't painted the car in 30 years, I was never any good at it anyway. I don't know what's come out too bad, really. Anyway, talk to you soon, like, subscribe, and I hope you uh, enjoyed some of this video. If you did, please come back because there's plenty more where this thing came from. <laughs>